But if it's only, and it may only be, right? But if it's only recycling the components, that was a waste. But live and, live and learn. Or spend and learn or something. Okay, that's him again. I mean, it is the main quest anyway, but I want to see. Maybe that's him, though. There's this going up that way? I don't know what this is. Alright, well, anyway. This is the main quest, this is why I came here in the first place. Let's go here for now. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. <laughs> Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. Black man. He has bronchitis. What? Oh, did he go somewhere? He did, went too far and he disappeared or something? I will return later. The strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidercott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Okay. Can you make a peace of mind? Can't you just look the other way this week, Joe? Come on, we can sort it out, right? It's not my call, Barrett. You pay one way or another. Please, Joe. How long have we known each other? We even used to be neighbors, for Christ's sake. I'd prefer not to give you another beating, Barrett. Welcome, sir. Please, take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. I wonder if that interrupted something that might potentially happen where he gets beat up or not. I don't know. <laughs> I know, right? Well... You know, stuff. 
How is business around here? Business? I had no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me, he's trying to put me out of business once and for all. Okay, let me pause just for a second here. I'm going to get more water and refill my little AC unit. Hang on one sec. I hadn't realized we'd all we're almost to well I mean we talked for a bit at the first right but we're coming up toward two hours already this went by a lot faster than I thought or than I expected it is strange the water for this unit because it only seems between about uh, somewhere between two-thirds and one, well, two thirds and half to one third, somewhere in there. It's only somewhere in there that it actually starts leaking. It's odd. But yeah. Whoops. All right. As a merchant, you see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me, came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever, madness, something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Have you been hurt? No, but that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. So that's that one. Okay, so personal questions. All hints. Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse then. I always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. Yes, she's a nurse, and quite a good one. What did she do to gain such notoriety? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse Crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no. Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. That's why. I see. Okay. Right then. Show me what you have. Okay, and then he has some of that stuff.
Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some, but Colossus Joe to most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. Yeah, Rap pointed out, it doesn't look like he really looks at my eyes. I wonder if there's kind of an aura with vampires where they tend people tend not to really look you in the face. I don't know. Strange. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. May I ask what you do around here? I'll do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the Wet Boot Boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. I feel for his situation if there's nothing else he can do, but at the same time, I'm obviously not cool with him beating people up. Most people don't become thugs when unemployed. This is a choice you've made. I don't care what you think, sir. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl, tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Mm. See, if he instead helps her, and he could potentially contribute to helping people out, and he could protect her from any possible dangers... Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Uh, I want this way. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. So you risk your life to reveal the truth. I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. That's quite honorable of you. But is the public interested? Not at all, sir. And that's why I'm an independent journalist, hoping to sell some stories. It's, it's admirable. 
Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? It's as though none of you care. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be demoralized by news of deadly diseases. I served in France. Our top priority must be to put an end to this butchery. This war must stop now. Sir, streets are a battlefield too. An invisible and untold war is going on, and it must be stopped. Have you any idea of the danger you face in these streets at night? I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs incensed by the fever. Do you think the flu is really responsible for this, Doctor? I must confess, some of my rational views have been shaken by recent events. I'll remember to stay away from the district's roughest streets then. Okay, so. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. I don't know why the sound keeps skipping. I would assume lag, but it doesn't, none of the video seems to lag. It's very strange. He has no relatives at all? No, except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Nothing new opened up, right? Yeah, okay. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. Richard Nithercott? I don't know who this is. Forgive my, my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. Just because you happen to believe in science? Sure. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. Well, you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. As a doctor, you must be aware of a decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end. 
What do you mean? The beast is finally revealing itself, corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes, I have seen them, those minions from the abyss. Really? And what would be your answer to this biblical threat? We must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Cleansing fire. Tell me, Tobias, what exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once, this city has risen from the ashes, hardened and purified by the flames. Yeah, well, and they can in this one too. That's the in the upper left. The mesmerize is the vampire's hypnotize ability, um, but. I don't know if mesmerize can be used for anything other than getting well. Mesmerize for like for, unless they overcome it or something. Mesmerize forces them to follow you. You take them somewhere, and then you have the option of embracing them. I don't necessarily need to embrace them, but if I lead them somewhere, I'm not sure what else I would do with them. So. Uh, as far as looking him in the eyes, though, look at where, like, for example, the father's looking. He's looking more at, like, my chin. He's not really looking at my eyes. And I don't know, all I was saying with before was, I don't, and I don't know if this is the case. All I was saying was, maybe there's some kind of aura around the vampires that kind of makes people subconsciously avert their eyes a little bit, but I'm not totally sure. Armageddon's an okay movie? Hey. I mean, it's Josh Hartnett and uh, Bruce Willis and uh, Liv, Ty Liv Tyler, yeah. And who else was in it? That's been so long now. Yeah, it was an okay movie. It wasn't great. <coughs> although, it all, although this other movie also was not amazing, I did like Deep Impact much better than I liked Armageddon. But Armageddon had the cool fun factor, like that approach, whereas Deep Impact was more dramatic and character development. Anyway. Uh, Purification by fire has proved useful, but where do you stop? Burn the clothes? The buildings? The corpses? Worse? Your lack of faith is predictable. But my task is to convince rational minds like yours to see the light. This is God's will. You're mad and dangerous. You're nothing but a soulless butcher. A small-time Torquemada. The Savonarola of Whitechapel. My son, if you think salvation is a free gift, go listen to the lies of that pompous fool, Joseph. Joseph, a fool? Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary's Church, while he continues preaching his fraudulent redemption, more and more people die in the streets. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. We already had this, but I'm just and seeing most it. of them can't see the Ben Affleck, truth. Yeah. quite a ju judgmental right. opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know, blinded by science as I am? Well, you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. But the answers I seek are based on facts, not superstition. Uh, let's see. So that was that one. Have you any friends? Any family left in these terrible times? No. 
But I have a disciple I see as my son. He is so devoted. I send him to preach the good word in the heart of this corrupted city. Where did you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery, where the pestilence and evil grows night after night. You sent him on some preaching crusade during the epidemic. As a true believer, Samuel will fear no evil while he walks through the valley of the shadow of death. Hopefully Samuel's still alive and not a vampire. Jeez. All right, nothing new. Well, that again, but no, okay. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses, but I especially abhor that nurse crane you mentioned. So you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. Sure. You say so. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. I have heard enough for tonight. Goodbye. Yeah. I mean, this is the... Late 1800, no, early 1900s, right? 1920-ish. So I don't know. Now he says the war needs in, so this must be like 1919 or 1918 when the war's still going. It's gotta be right. Anyway, I need to find a hideout or somewhere where I can save it. Somebody's screaming wow again. There. Or just the one. A ten? Dazzled skull. That should be. Not terribly tough, if I'm not stupid, of course. Oh, hi, you have a friend, I didn't realize. Okay, hi. actually move me. I kept running into the wall. <laughs> Whoops.
Get a couple friends lying in wait. It's fine. Somebody who passed because of the plague. That sucks. They had a gun, too. Quarantine plans to keep out of this area by order of Board of Health. Health officer. somewhere will be a place to sleep. get a read on him really good evening sir I'm dr. Reed I would like to ask you a few questions please be my guest although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. There we go. Are you aware that your life could be in danger in this part of town? But this is where I must be to feel the real beat of the city. I had to come, see it for myself, alone. I understand your need for solitude, but it's not safe around here. I don't care. I don't have many friends, Doctor, and my family despises me. If some misfortune came upon you, who would be here to help you? Well, you for a start, my dear Doctor. <laughs> you assume too much. <laughs> May I ask what you're doing at this hour of night, sir? Do you live here? Not at all. I'm just enjoying the pleasure of a quiet walk. Though night talks are always preferable, if you ask me. Especially with strangers. Wow! 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 <laughs> but are you not afraid of the epidemic? Oh, why should I? I see some equity in the Spanish flu. Uh, no flesh should be saved, say the scriptures. Good or evil, rich or poor, all are equal in the eyes of the flu. It's a good point. I mean, you know, it sucks that it's death for everybody, but it's a good point. If you say so. But as a physician in a time of epidemic, I must caution you to avoid unnecessary exposure, sir. Thank you, Doctor. But we both know the seeker of truth has to go boldly where the weak dare not. What are your thoughts on the terrible situation in this city? Terrible, you say? No. Of course, the death of so many innocents is a tragedy. But the scourge has not been all bad for the city. Oh, no, sir. What are you talking about? Do you remember London before the flu? Noisy, cacophonic, quiet, nowhere to be found. And now, listen to this oddly peaceful silence. Okay. I mean, I guess poetry, but... Yes. The enjoyable silence of the grave. You have a unique perspective on the situation, I must admit. Most people fail to understand my perspective. I don't blame them. But how could I call myself a poet if I veiled my feelings? 
Okay. Those were... So these were all just life in London, right? Yeah, okay, so... This one? Tell me, Mr. Nethercott, why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not beautiful per se, but uh, how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. Wow, wow, wow. I'm just going to keep doing that now. <laughs> uh... In what way, exactly? The struggle by gaslight, the barren smiles and the arid hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox, the stripped humanity raged across each street. Vivid, of course, yes. And what about the poignant distress? Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? That's what I want to write about. And that's what Whitechapel is made of. <laughs> Let's leave that off. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But, sorry, no, never heard of her. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. All right, I think we've not unlocked anything new, so I think we're good, yeah. I'll leave you alone, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah, hang on. He has a cold. Some of us come to this world already touched by grace. Oh, Camellia, the silent flower of Whitechapel. An angel made flesh, I tell you. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna steal some stuff from you, okay? Refusal letter? Uh, uh. Oh. Wait, is that this? Mailbox in the letter? No, because that was not in the mailbox. I hit tab and it took me here. I don't know. What are you trying to tell me? Mm. Don't know. Came from this way, right? Yes. So I want to go out that way, although let's let me go over here first. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Small flower bouquet with a voucher for free medical checkup hidden between the flowers. Camellia. At some point, I need to f water the flower in my hospital room, by the way. But I don't know how I would get water to it. 
I suppose there's probably a way, but I don't know. Miss Camellia? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I know what you're thinking. Oh, she's the one a tall stranger who meets a girl yeah. in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. But I mean you no harm, truly. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with you being mute. Does it? Camellia, I know you work for Dorothy Crane. Please tell me about her secret dispensary. Hmm. A stubborn and mute comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu have been clever. Very well. Goodbye, then. She's healthy. Is there anything else or just... No, it's just... I thought I would have taken the note, but I guess I didn't. Alright. Oh yeah, it's another... Poster about stuff. She looks like she's putting in every single pot, right? Yeah. Well, not every pot, but several pots anyway. Keeps putting them out for everybody to see. Darius Petrescu's letter. My dearest, most beloved children, I am so sorry you have not heard from me for a few months. The situation in London has been difficult. I know it may sound selfish and silly when you, my children, are still living in a country consumed by war, but there is also a war going on here in England. A war against poverty and against injustice. This is a war I intend to fight despite my advanced years. This is why I am writing, you to, writing to you today. I won't be coming back to Dominia. That probably means I won't see you again before I die. Don't be sad, my darlings. You are grown up now and you have children of your own. You know the sacrifice we sometimes must accept to make the world a better place. This is what I know I make, must make now. To feel useful one more time. I wish you a long and happy life. Kiss my grandchildren for me and remember that your father loves you. All the way from this cold, damp country. I am as ever your loving father, Darius Petrescu. Yeah. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Alright, so I'll just go back the way I came, I suppose. Pretty much. Although, who knows if these respawn. I'm surprised there's not a place here, but okay. Whoops, sorry, sorry, sorry. A little bit of lag. Pushed me off course a bit. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. 
go away. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see, Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. <laughs> Don't make me regret this as I steal from him. <laughs> ah. Well, let's not get into his same. Antique figure of uh, Vricola, Vricolas, whatever. New collectible. Sure. You say so? Safe. Okay. He just sits there as I rob him, too. He just lets me. <laughs> it's hilarious when games let you do that. It's like, what? Wait, what? So there's her place. Is there a... Probably not, but is there a... Place for me to stay? I don't find a hideout. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Where is she? This way. Patient Razvan Vasily, high fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, head pain, diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration, but he's having trouble keeping even water down. Aspirin and salicin, you say? Why not some warm milk and a kiss on the cheek? Where are the quinine salts? Tried buying, borrowing, even stealing. There's none to be found, Doctor. He's not convulsing. He's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull, hand me that skull. What can I do, Doctor? Anesthetic? I don't think he wants an anesthetic right now. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy? Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane, what do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. He's still bleeding, doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. A 
must first suture the artery, find the wound, the source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor. A dose of epinephrine, now. Yes, Doctor. We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, I'm not a doctor. How do I know what to do? We could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went? Piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. I mean, I know basically what the choices were, like do chest compressions or give him a shot of basically adrenaline, right? But I don't know. I don't know what to do in that situation. I need somewhere to get a save. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Yeah, I think she told me not to let on that I, that she that it was to stop the blackmail, right? I can't remember now. Gosh dang it, but I think she said help me Hang on. What is She is she not part of the district? Where is she? What? No. Where is the She's the benefactor. Where she's not one of the characters here? I mean, granted, I don't know very much about her, but I should know something more than just nothing. See, she's just in the... I don't know. Like, I don't know how to see. 
Lady Ashbury, yeah, where is she? I don't know. I honestly don't. What do you guys think? Should I say stop the blackmail or should I just say you can't carry on with this? I don't think this is illegal. Will do anything. That just comes across as a threat, right? Um, One of these two, I'm pretty sure. I don't, don't. I'm pretty sure I don't want to do that one. Um, I mean, this is my quest. Let's try a soft approach. I don't know if. I don't know if that's gonna fail. Those the thing. Your heart might be in the right place, but you can't carry on with this blackmail. For God's sake, Dorothy, it's extortion. It's a serious crime. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty, nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Embrace? Oh, jeez. Because that's going to end well. Let's try this one, I think. Listen very carefully, Dorothy. You will erase from your memory everything you pretend to know about Lady Ashbury and Pembroke Hospital. Let that rich bitch off the hook over my dead Nurse body. Nurse Crane, enough. Listen as if your life depended on every word. I know you have a generous heart who gives freely to those in need, but you shall walk away from the shadier streets of your business. I will never abandon- Dorothy, the discussion has come to a close. Your clandestine activities in the resistance are over. Let it go I'll, I'll let it go yes all gone interview of the vampire achievement unlocked district will soon suffer the consequences of your action yeah well you know i don't know what to do i mean all three choices 
Oh, I guess I could have had forced her to resign. Uh, maybe that's what I should have done. And she could have at least tried to help this area more. Crap, I think I just made this district worse off now. Hell oh, dang it. That was, I really should have just said resign. The Pembroke Hospital could have been mostly okay still. Just minus one nurse. But instead, the one nurse here that would have helped them Of course. So basically this place is overrun by thugs now. Gosh dang it. Okay, see you, Monma. Thanks for joining me. I don't know. I don't think it'll be fine. I really don't. Whitechapel's in serious trouble.
Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. Reed. Come on in. Well, I hope you'll be okay in the future. I don't know what to tell you. Alright, I don't... The thing is, I don't know where I would go to find a hideout, so I probably, because I don't know, I mean, look for rats and stuff, but that doesn't... There's a hideout right there. I should just go there, I think. This way. So down and then to the left. Didn't do anything wrong with the patient, but didn't ask about the patient in the first choice. And hesitated the other and asked her opinion. Uh, I see. So I was expected to ask her about more details. So I guess it makes sense if I'm a doctor, right? Okay, let's pick up whatever there may be here to get, and then we'll next time. That's ammo. Oh no, that's not ammo. I was thinking that was an ammo box. I guess not. game is definitely not a happy ambiance. I guess that would be to leave there. Probably technically either of those are to leave. Alright, we'll sleep here, I'm going to level up and then uh, it should be saved, I think. Okay, um...
I mean, the harder I am to kill, all right, so that may be all I can do right now. I don't know, I could do this. Blood capacity? Yeah, that's fine. Not enough for the next level, of course, but, um, okay. And... Yeah, I think that's it for now. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I, uh, I hope I do also. Disappearances in Whitechapel. Reports of mysterious disappearances have escalated in the past weeks reach the point where witnesses have to queue before recounting their testimonies to an officer. While this phenomenon appears to be a nationwide occurrence, statements in the last 24 hours have converged around a single area in the country, Whitechapel, London. Yes, once more, the despised and loathed East End is left to struggle on its own, continuously overlooked by the authorities, even while numerous families from this district report the unexplained different disappearance of relatives and neighbors. What has happened to these missing individuals? Where are they? The only link between them seems to be their health and their need for urgent medical attention. Until recently, it was a local secret that the only place to get help was a discreet dispensary managed by unidentified Good Samaritans. The place now seems to be closed and no one has any news from that facility. Did the missing persons go to a more secret place? Have they been discreetly moved to a more official service? One day soon, the London City Council's Board of Health We'll have to answer for this new mystery. W. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know. I like so this thing is I wasn't even for sure what the results would be. But I now am thinking that the choice to have her resign would have meant resign from the Pembroke Hospital. But she would have stayed in Whitechapel helping people. Dorothy Crane is missing. Apparently. Actions have impacted the borough's economy. So yeah, it's critical. Crap. I wonder if there's anything I can do to turn it in another direction. <sighs> I don't know. There are all these people that are really in trouble too. Okay, I have... Well, I'll look here in a minute and see. Let me see. Okay, so I need a treatment for bronchitis. Was one of them. One of them has a migraine. I don't have a thing for that. What else? Um, let's see. Cold fatigue. So two cold, one fatigue, migraine, I don't have that yet, and then fatigue. So two fatigue, two cold. Oh, let's see. So I cold, bronchitis, fatigue, fatigue, another cold. Okay. Okay, so next time, I'm going to try, I don't know if I can, but if I, if I can, next time I'm going to try to heal a bunch of these sick people in the borough. 
in Whitechapel. So even though I basically retired Nurse Crane from the area, maybe if I can find some like gang leaders like the Boot, well, I don't know about the Boot, whatever, the Boot Bay Boys or whatever, but if I can somehow find a leader of the criminal activity in Whitechapel and off them, I might lessen the danger to the citizens. And then also if I can cure some of these ailments. So don't let me forget, next time that's what I'm planning on doing. So hopefully I will remember that because I don't want to forget that. Okay. Anyway. Uh... I guess I'll just have to craft that again next time because we're going to be quitting. I don't think it... Um, I don't think it will have saved my crafting. I'll just need to do that next time. We'll see. I don't like the idea of basically screwing up a burrow so that they're in all kinds of trouble. But by the same token... I should have just made Nurse Nurse Crane retire. She's missing, is what it said. So, I mean, what's the point of just not embracing her then if she's missing? I mean, I don't want to embrace her, but I'm just saying, like, if she's just gone, it's basically the same. <coughs> that seems bad. I don't even know. I don't even know. Well... Well, I'll try to remember that for next time, like I said. Okay, tomorrow night, more, more of the council. Sunday will be probably the last of Close to the Sun. Hopefully things will cool down enough that I can do more recording of Last of Us 2 and so on. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, stay awesome, be safe with everything going on in the world, and I'll talk to you soon. Till then, peace. Spider. This freaking boy. Oh, that's so sad.